Okay, so I should have been back <laughs> this morning where I left you guys last night. Certainly a few meters, possibly higher than where I just was. So I can actually look out over the heathland. So <laughs> it was quite an unorthodox way of getting to where I am, but I do think actually now I'm here, I, uh, I should make the most of the next hour and then possibly return here in the morning. But driving into Norfolk this morning, oh, the mist was just rolling across the fields and I just thought I need to get to a higher elevation where I can look down on this beautiful sunrise and capture some of the mist and then try and pick out some of these lone trees as well. And um, this morning I am, I'm, I'm really pleased. I'm a bit hesitant because I kind of really want to focus on the wildlife, but at the same breath, you know, landscape photography is in my blood. And uh, I just think this morning that shot just worked so well. Well, just look at that behind me. Within seconds of me doing that last piece to camera, the cloud rolled across and that amazing light show that I got this morning is now over. That's how fast it can happen. It just went from this burning sky almost to someone just pulling the cord on the light and it's now all over. Right, well, I'm so pleased that I, I did get that shot this morning. So what I need to do now is make my way further into the heathland. Positioned myself fairly close to the woods, but also I can see across the heathland from here. The only issue that I'm having is the height of the tripod when I sit on the hide chair. Now I'm not actually going to use the hide uh, as such today because it's, it's very wet from uh, the little mishap that I had yesterday. I fell in. But I am obviously using the, the chair. But if I bring the camera down to where I can use it comfortably in the chair, the heather in front of me is blocking the view. So I've got the camera set up to a height that I can look across this heathland here. But I'm going to stay low in the chair and I'm just going to look out with my binoculars to see if I can see anything. I've also brought my netting as well. Which I draped over the back of the chair. So I do have a little bit of camouflage. And um, I've also got a, a balaclava with me, which I think I'll put on shortly as well, especially as the midges are starting to bite now. It's still, it's still quite dark here and I've got my camera set up to just an arbitrary setting at the moment which is 1 over 200 but that has given me an ISO of 2500 and that is on 6.3 on that particular lens which is the lowest or the widest it will go um, at a 600mm focal length so it would be nice just to get a little bit more light before 
hopefully I see a deer because I really don't want to increase that ISO beyond 2500 if I can really help it. The maximum I'll push it is 5000 but I have to do a lot of work with the images to get it to look reasonably sharp at 5000. You know when you just get um, a feeling that you're even comfortable with the position and you're happy to wait and then you're uncomfortable with a position well I'm the latter there's a a mound in front of me that's covered in heather and I think if a, a deer was to stand on top of that mound oh, that would make a fantastic shot really would but the chances of a deer just walking out of the woods and onto that mound is so so slim and I keep thinking shall I move but it's about an hour now after sunrise and I do think if I go traipsing through the woods through the path there could be a chance that I could scare something away such a hard call um, I'm actually up against time today I must leave here in probably about two hours two and a half hours um, so I have to make a decision soon on what I want to do because if I leave it much longer then I'll end up staying where I am possibly give this another half an hour if I've not seen anything even other forms of, of wildlife um, then I think I might just take my chances and move further down I don't want to rush it because I don't mind being somewhere half a day it doesn't bother me um, it's just I'm not comfortable with where I am and uh, I am on limited time today. so pleased I decided to leave where I was and make my way further down into the woods and in the distance I saw a deer and it's got black markings on its face which I'm sure is a muntjac and unfortunately he saw me before I saw it and it started to run but then it stopped stopped enough that I could quickly get the, the camera off off my back and fire off a couple of shots and then he started to walk away in the distance and I thought well that's it he's gonna keep going but he didn't he turned round and they started to come towards me it was at this point I did try and get some filming for you on the on the camera um, and then I, I did think that I'd lost him because there's a lot of undulations um, just a little bit further down where he is but at the moment he's actually laying down I'm so surprised oh there's another one there's another one that one's running that one's running but the one that I've been photographing that's just laying down I honestly thought that would it, it would be gone wow wow <laughs> that has made my day it really
really has. The only issue, you know, you can never have a perfect world, but it's it's very dark. It's, it's almost 100% cloud. And where the deer is, is underneath the trees. So typically I've had to bump up that ISO more than I would have wanted to. But it makes no difference. It was it's a, it's a quite a colourful image in and amongst the heather and um, I'm just so pleased that I managed to see and photograph a deer today. Mm.